Good afternoon, World Wide Web. This is James, your favorite ticker picker. I just wanted to dedicate a video on uh, buying strategy and options buying strategy. Uh, find the option or stock that you want to buy. Uh, click place the limit order for it. And what I'm doing is, uh, especially on stocks that I already own, is I'm going ahead in advance and putting in an order with a much, much lower uh, limit price. Uh, yesterday on Carnival, uh, I did lower limit prices on all of my options, uh, much lower than it was at the time. It was at uh, like 1840 or 1840.50. So I just went ahead and threw it like a dime under that. Next thing I knew, they started coming in. And I, I, was, I was scooping this thing up at uh, 1815 yesterday in some cases. Uh, same thing with Norwegian yesterday. Um, it seemed like 2120 was level one of where I wanted to get back in again. It's not really wanting to go there so much. But I put the orders in uh, yesterday morning. They're actually in there, uh, I believe, the day before. But uh, to buy it uh, in the 2120 range, I was doing it for options. Uh, the January, uh, January 30s I went with. And um, no, maybe it was the December thirty dollar strike price. It was selling for fifty seven dollars or uh, fifty seven per contract, uh, anywhere from fifty seven to sixty when this thing hits twenty one twenty. Now it's at uh, like seventy six cents. It, it just exploded uh, upwards. But because I set that in advance. Uh, it scooped it up for me as the market fell down, and then the market immediately screamed back up because it realized it had no business being down there. I guess that's what happened. This thing went from 2120 launching right back to here, you know, on a down day. So it didn't last there for very long, and I wouldn't expect them to last anywhere very long, but it's not a bad idea to go ahead and try to take advantage of a possible short term dip. You know, you could have one or two big players get out and you could find yourself uh, owning the stock at a decent price instead of having to jockey up and pay this. So I started doing this on uh, just about everything I'm buying now. I'm just done fighting with Schwab. I see an opportunity. I want to dive on it. Sometimes the option screen doesn't come up correctly. I have to go back in and repick it all over again and then it doesn't come in correctly. It can take me five minutes to pull an options trade with Schwab. It's a freaking nightmare. Probably going to switch venues because of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just a good strategy, I think. Uh, I also did uh, some just long shot, ridiculous low balls. Um, AMC stock, for instance, I put in uh, low balls with a $3 stock price factored in there. Um, if this thing chops itself in half uh, i'm gonna die i'm just diving in uh even if it chops itself in half for a nanosecond it's gonna drag me in and i might be taking a piss at that moment or cooking myself lunch or uh, not paying attention or making a video <laughs> or i'm not watching the stock except for just one of them that i'm talking about but uh presetting your levels of downwardness uh potential is definitely a good way to scoop up some on a dip uh, if you're wishing that you were back in and you're out, or if you were wishing you want to get in a little stronger, but you feel like maybe the boat has left you or a cruise ship, excuse me. Some people don't like the word boat. Um, but yeah, if you feel like your cruise ship has left you, you can always put one of those in and hope they happen. They do happen. Uh, Norwegian hit 2120 for 10 minutes yesterday and probably hit it for 10 minutes last week. There's a chance it could happen again. I don't know. It's their turn for pre-earnings hype. It's their turn to launch. But I just wanted to talk about doing that for options, doing that at uh, advantageous positions that you, even if you think they're ridiculously priced, uh, offer offer whatever for it. Just get, get the open order out there offering whatever for it. You'd be surprised at how many of these discounts show up. Kind of like the guy who goes on eBay and just does uh, the options or, or the uh, he only bids on items that start out at a dollar or something. And he only bids like three dollars for it and he ends up winning sometimes. The guy can't believe it. He's like, oh, my God, I just got a 
a brand new stereo for my car for six dollars or whatever and he's just a low baller and he they do end up winning sometimes and they do get their stereo for six bucks or you could get your norwegian for for 2120 or you know and, and if it hits at that level put in another one even lower you know do the do the next one at even a lot less money or dime or two less on the options in that case or a buck a buck lower on the stock price and it, and, it, and it might just show up. It might just show up in your account and go, hey, guess what? It only went down for 10 minutes, but you scooped it. And uh, it's kind of nice to scoop those things. I like putting in ridiculous ones. And uh, I've been actually been hitting on them like crazy yesterday and the, and the day before. It's kind of fun. And uh, especially wild rides that you aren't sure could go either way. Might as well throw in the scoop on more if it you know chops itself in half immediately grab some options for that moment because it's probably just going to scream back and recover or ones that you feel like are uh, upward potential uh, never ending like these seem to be on a path of norwegian's going to have some blowout earnings coming up i think they're done discounting anything their website doesn't even show you a cruise price that's uh, half of what carnival's doing um the bottom offer is like Fourteen hundred dollars for one person. Carnival will start you off at six fifty for that, but they upgrade the crap out of you, so you probably end up at the six fifty anyhow. Uh, but Norwegian seems to have probably a more solid. Uh, we don't care if you don't drink. We're we're going to charge you for the unlimited drinks anyhow. Kind of approach, and for that reason, I think Norwegian it might just blow away expectations again or do better with the prices. I would imagine. Uh, they were probably less discounted, and they are booked out f more fully in the future. Uh, nothing but good news pouring onto this company all, all month long. And I'm guessing, and I guessed short last time by a lot, but I'm guessing 25 bucks before earnings. And I will go ahead and say, if it pulls a freaking carnival, we could we could it see it 29 or something before earnings. But... At this point in Carnival's life, I was saying that was stupid, but now it looks like it might just be a reality. So grabbing up some 27 options at end, you know, second week of August might not be a terrible freaking idea. It might not be. This sucker hits 29 or 30, uh, you'll be in business. On the uh, Carnival options, I bought uh, 50 contracts. Uh, they were 17s that expired July 21st, and I bought, uh, I think it was about 40 or 50 contracts of the uh, uh, 3250 for January, which I just thought was ridiculous, uh, maybe, or just a little bit too far for it to actually hit, and I also bought the 15s for, uh, for uh, July, and I have 50 contracts of that. Uh, those two contracts I wiggled out of because I didn't feel like they had a chance. And boy, did they have a chance. So now I'm looking at the 15s are worth like $4.50 each. And I bought them for a nickel. You guys, oh my God, I wish I had this money. Um, yeah, it costed me a Porsche and a house in Mississippi. So <laughs> I'm in Orlando, but it won't buy you a house in Orlando. But it'll buy you a house somewhere crappy. Uh, or crappier, or less expensive, but hopefully nicer. I don't know. I might move there. It's got some attractive housing prices. I can get a whole neighborhood for the price of a house that I can't hear. But that's neither here nor there. Norwegian does have a, a port there, and they do cruises from there, too. From Biloxi and from uh, uh, Mobile, Alabama, they have a cruise port. They also have one in uh, Jacksonville, Tampa. Uh, we got Fort Lauderdale, Miami, um, and Cape Canaveral, of course. We got a bunch of them down here. Uh, they do quite well, and they go all the way up north, and there's ports everywhere, and people can get to them. Their market share per port is in the mega millions, uh, so you don't have to worry about them not being able to sell their tickets in a recession. They don't have enough tickets to go around now uh, in a recession. I'd imagine there's still going to be plenty of people that can take a cruise. And it's a much better deal than a hotel room at this point. They feed you uh, they for free. It's all inclusive. The drinks are free. They're all inclusive. And 
you get to go on your cruise and hopefully not spend a whole ton more money. But you probably will anyhow. Uh, but yeah, Norwegian Cruise Lines and setting your options for low balls. I mean, why not? Would you want it at that price? Yeah, well then go set a low ball. Uh, they come in. I'm telling you, it's like a happy day. You're like, oh, goody. I don't know what happened today, but I'm. this looks good. One of the things, uh, if you want it anyhow, even if there is a collapse, then that's a good way to grab it. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next video. Uh, like the video and subscribe. Here's to setting your limit orders early at ridiculously low prices and hoping they come in. Why not, right? If you want the company so bad, do it. Like and subscribe. See you next one.